start off at the front of Argentine Yard, where BNSF 3935 and ET44C4 built in 2015, and Canadian Pacific 8774 and ES44DC of 2006 prepare to lead an auto carrier train. 2553, a GP35U, is yard power for today. It was built in 1965 as Santa Fe 1353. In the middle of the yard, there's a lot of old ties laying around, along with some old boxcars. This picture has a lot of interesting things in it, starting with an overturned hopper car in the middle. And to the right, there's an old Santa Fe Wide Vision caboose. And to the left, amongst the freight cars, you can see one of Herzog's rail carrying trains. BNSF 1747 is an SD40-2. It was built in 1981 at Santa Fe 5179 and is currently my Twitter profile picture. 1747 has been working in Kansas City since 2012. 8134 is an ES44C4 built in around 2014. Behind 8134 is 3793, an ET44C4. Although it was built sometime in early 2016, it has gotten a lot of weathering around its trucks and fuel tanks. The middle of the yard looks like a shot that was taken about 2008. You can see a former Burlington Northern SD40-2, a former SD60M, another Santa Fe Yellow Engine, and BNSF 2888, which is a GP39R, which used to be part of the Burlington Northern fleet. Near the locomotive servicing area, engines 8969 and 9711 sit on the out-of-use sidings. They are both SD70 MACs. 9711 was built in 1996 and A969 was built in 2000. At the far end of the out-of-use sidings, there are a couple of these old yard engines. JTPX 1235 is an ex-St. Louis and Southwestern SW1200. It is owned by Joseph Transportation and was based in Shasta, California. 1235 was built sometime around 1965 and was leased to the Hi Lehigh Heidelberg Cement Group. RLCX 1263 is an SW9 which was built all the way back in 1951. It is owned by Railco and was based in Andersville, Georgia. Does anyone know what these four lights on the side of the locomotive are for? I've seen this engine around Argentine Yard a few times, but I think this is the first time I got a clear view of it. Now this is the more interesting picture. Here at the front you can see NREX 1430. I have no idea what type of locomotive it is, but looks fairly recently rebuilt. The other two engines are EMDX 1603 and 1604. These two are brand new EMD SD70 ACE T4 locomotives. They were built in 2016 with Tier 4 emission standards and A1A trucks. These are the first two EMD Tier 4 locomotives I've seen in person, and they currently aren't owned by BNSF yet. BNSF has currently not placed an order for any SD70 ACE T4 locomotives. Amongst a couple of NS diesels is a City Rail ES44 AC. 1076 is a C44-9W sporting H1 paint. It was built in 1997. BNSF 4716 is a war bonnet clad C44-9W which was built in 1996. It is also one of the war bonnets to say BNSF on the side instead of Santa Fe. Now we move on to Union Pacific's Armordale Yard w with a Ferromex ES44 AC. 8629 is an SD70 ACE built in 2008 and has some pretty worn out paint, but its fuel tanks still show a good amounts of gray on it. In front of 8629 is 4365, an SD70M built in 2001. Yard power here is Union Pacific 1960, an SD40N, previously numbered 3160. 
In another part of the yard, you can see these old box cars, which remind me of a model railroad. One of them is in Union Pacific Yellow, which I hardly ever see UP Yellow box cars. And the yellow box car also says, Be Specific, Ship Union Pacific, which I think dates from the 60s or 70s. There are also some old Santa Fe white ones and a Chicago Northwestern one. As we come near the Kansas City Southern Yard, we see some TXUX hopper cars, which are owned by TXU Electric, which is based around Dallas, Texas. Here we see a gray Kansas City Southern Jeep performing shunting duties. The name Pacific 8950 is an ES44 AC that was built in 2011. CSX 530 is an AC44 CW that was built in 2001. Here we see former BNSF 215 still in war bonnet red. 215 along with the other BNSF SD75Ms are being sold to PRLX. In one of my previous videos from about a year ago you can see a whole bunch of former BNSF SD75Ms before their PRLX pack. If you thought that old pile of ties was impressive, look at all of these piles of metal things that, that go between its high and the rail in the spike. I thought the grain hopper in this yard was out of use until I saw this truck filling up with the grain from the elevator. Here's a Kansas City Southern SD70 ACE on the one end of the train by itself. At Mid America Car Inc. shops, you can see a former CSX box car along with an older box car on the ground. GMTX 105 is an SW1500 that's leased to the Little Rock Port Authority. It was built in 1970 for the Southern Pacific, and I'm totally surprised to see this engine so far away from Little Rock, Arkansas. Does Little Rock not have a private contractor for rebuilding locomotives? GMTX 131 is also an SW1500, but it's leased as Chevron Phillips. And BNSF 7889 is an ES44 DC built in 2010. Also at Mid-America Car is Union Pacific Passenger Car number 203, the Idaho Inspection Car. I haven't seen this car since 2007. I honestly thought Union Pacific sold it to North Fork Southern. I have some old footage of this car on the back of 844's train from 2007. I might upload them at a later date. Here's a picture of how the car normally looks. It's currently with Union Pacific 1943 in New Jersey. As I look down one of the sidings, I can see an orange and yellow Genesee and Wyoming engine, quite a rare sight here in Kansas City. At the Norfolk Southern Yard, I saw two BNSF ES44s, one of them in the old paint. I also saw a high hood jeep there. Norfolk Southern is getting rid of the last of their high hood locomotives like these. I actually saw two more. Did not e expect to see some of them today. Now as we move down to the town of Kansas Bridge, a mixed freight train passes by with this Canadian Pacific box car.
you're foreign and you're in those dash eight. No cars whatsoever. Now I wait to ride the streetcar at River Market North Station. The streetcar line has been recently been decorated with a lot of artwork. At the edge of the island platform, there's this signal so that streetcars can reverse into the depot. Even though there is a reversing signal here, it says that all passengers must get off at the city market stop at the end of the day. At about 14th and Main, there was a car blocking the tracks, so the streetcar blew its horn a few times. I walked to Union Station where I saw Amtrak SC44 Charger number 4612 waiting to leave. 4612 was completed in June 2017 and this was the third different Siemens Charger that I've seen. The SC44 Charger is the first major diesel locomotive that Siemens has built in the United States. Says the Pork Express on it. 